One victim of the explosion at a Navy ammunition warehouse in Tanjung Priok, North Jakarta, remains in critical condition, while several have already been allowed to return home. The Navy and National Police have set up an investigative team to look into the cause of the blast. Master Sergeant Midi continues to be in critical condition with a hemorrhage of the brain caused by objects hitting his head during the explosion. He remains unconscious at the Port Medical Center in Tanjung Priok. First Sergeant Lawrence, who had been treated at the ICCU unit, has now been moved to the ICU unit where Master Sergeant Asep Setiawan is still being treated for broken bones suffered during the blast. Deputy Health Minister Ali Gufron said the government will bear all medical costs for the victims. A total of 29 other victims also remain under treatment at the Minto Harjo Navy Hospital in South Jakarta. Security measures at the site on the explosion have been beefed up to allow the investigation to proceed without delay. The investigative team is to work along with the National Police Forensic Laboratory to search for the cause of the explosion that damaged 10 buildings and left one person dead. Uh, jadi hari ini atau mungkin tepatnya tadi malam ya uh, Mabesal sudah apa namanya membentuk satu tim investigasi uh, terdiri dari beberapa apa namanya bagian yang terkait gitu ya uh, termasuk juga uh, kemungkinan bantuan dari pihak kepolisian dalam ini pusat lapor karena sebelumnya sudah ada pembicaraan ya antara kasal.